A composite shaft consists of a 0.2 inch thick brass jacket bonded to a 1.0 inch diameter steel core. If the shaft is subjected to a 5 kip inches torque, what is the angle of twist of end B relative to end A and the maximum shearing stress in the brass jacket and the steel core? This is the third example for the angle of twist and statically indeterminate main video. The links to that video and other examples are in the description below. We know that part of the external torque will go into the brass jacket and part of that external torque will go to the steel core. So we have two unknowns with only one equation. These statically indeterminate problems can be solved when we add the information about the deformation, in this case the angle of twist. Since the angle of twist of end A at the steel core has to be equal to that of A in the brass jacket, we can find, for example, the torque that goes into the steel in terms of the torque that goes into the brass. And since the length of the brass and the steel are the same, they cancel out. Substituting the torque in the steel in the sum of torque equation, calculating the polar second moments of area, and substituting the values for the shear moduli, we can solve for the torque in the brass. Since the rest of the external torque goes to the steel, we now have the values to calculate the stress in the brass, the stress in the steel, and the angle of twist, which is the same for the steel or the brass. Substituting the values for each one of these expressions, we find the three values that we were looking for. For the other example videos on angles of twist and statically indeterminate problems, as well as the other main videos from the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.